In the early 1990s, just 40 years old, Mount Carmel School, the school that had produced the best talents of the Northern Mariana Islands, was in danger of collapse. Enrollment in 1992 was approximately just under 600 students in both elementary and high school level. The same year, having watched the school slowly suffer and students' education seeming to falter as well, Bishop Camacho invited the Religious Sisters of Mercy from Guam to serve as a school consultant to the Diocese of Chalancanoa. From 93 on, there was a move on the part of the diocese to improve the school's future. Uh, it was actually considered whether to shut down the school if the school was no longer uh, 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 fulfilling the Catholic mission. And if we're going to fulfill the Catholic mission, then we should take our, our role seriously. And I guess that's when the bishop turned to the Mercy Sisters and invited Sister Angela Parrish to come to Saipan and take over the school. And she did. She really uh, came in and uh, implemented a lot of things that the Mount Carmel School needed. Uh, the quality of the teachers, the standards of the teachers uh, improved. The, the behavior of students toward school, I believe at one point in time, when, the, when Sister Angela would interview the students or the parents, was, do, do you, does your son or daughter want to be here? And if they don't want to be here, they were told, okay, we, do not, we will not welcome them because it, was, uh, it, was, it defeated the purpose of coming to a Catholic school. So there were a lot of those things that were happening, you know, all of a sudden, uh, uh, so uh, from, and I guess then the rest of the community realized that, yeah, Mount Carmel School is, a, is, is, is again uh, back to what it was, and even better. The following year, 1993, Sister Angela of the Religious Sisters of Mercy brought her years of educational expertise and strong determination to Mount Carmel School. Under her leadership, she started the school into what seemed to be a renaissance period for Mount Carmel, where Catholic values were taken into as much consideration as the curriculum of the school. Sister Angela also worked tirelessly to pull the school into accreditation. By the summer of 1995, Mount Carmel School took a leap into the 21st century of school management. It incorporated into a true business. It took on a new board of directors. It was able to receive tax exempt and non-profit status. And it switched into an innovative president principal model. With the ability to act more like a corporation, Mount Carmel School presidents would be more accountable for their positions and answer to a board of directors, which in turn would be accountable to the Bishop of Chalancanoa as the corporate chairman of the board. With this new model of management for Mount Carmel School, Bishop Camacho and Sister Angela, together with the new board, turned the school back into the original intent of Father Arnold and the Mercedarian missionaries of Baritz. Sister Angela was a very professional person. Uh, and a very serious looking person and uh, very uh, articulate in uh, uh, running of a school because he had been a principal in Guam for a number of years and she uh, uh, <clears throat> uh, she was involved in accreditation uh, 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 in, in the accreditation of uh, Our Lady Monk, Our Lady of Guam, in, uh, over there, so uh, she's very familiar with the uh, uh, process to accredit the school. So that was the first thing she uh, she planned when she came up here to have the school accredited. And in 1996, after four years of hard work, Mount Carmel School received its first period of accreditation from the Western Association of Schools and Colleges. Sister Angela, with her work completed, left the school to go back to Guam. 
Sister Kathleen Sarmiento, also a highly trained religious Sister of Mercy, would replace Sister Angela as the school's new president, under whom Michael Miller was appointed as elementary school principal, while Tyler Bangert became the high school principal. Under the direction of the new president and the new model of accountability posed by the newly acquired accreditation, Mount Carmel School raised its standards for academic achievement and success. During those first important years in creating a more efficient environment for the students, Mount Carmel School completed construction of its newest addition, a thoroughly modern two-story air-conditioned high school building in 1997. Raising the bar of education for all the students meant that they were now more likely to be able to compete in the world outside of the Northern Mariana Islands.